The Ford Tractor Steering Gear Assembly. This video is brought to you by Just Ed In's Ford Tractor Parts and Restoration Service. This video applies to Ford 8N tractors built between 1948 and early 1950 with serial numbers 216, 988, and lower. Begin by installing the steering shaft lower bearing. First, insert the bearing cup into the housing. The cup is pressed into a boss at the base of the housing. Follow this with the freeze plug which is pressed into a recess below the bearing cup. After installation, the relative locations of the bearing cup and freeze plug within the boss are as shown here. Then place the bearing in the cup. Now insert the shaft and ball nut assembly. Note the orientation of the gear teeth. Rotate the ball nut until it is centered on the grooved portion of the shaft. Then slide the upper bearing onto the shaft and place a shim on the housing. The upper housing is attached next, but before mating the upper housing, insert a bearing cup into the bottom of the upper housing. Ensure that the upper housing is oriented with the threaded boss towards the rear of the steering gear. Secure the upper housing with four bolt and lock washer sets. A slight preload on the bearings is required. This is accomplished by checking the shaft end play by measuring the vertical travel of the shaft. The end play should be between 6 to 10 thousandths of an inch. Adding additional shims increases the end play. After the end play is adjusted, verify that the steering shaft rotates freely. Slide the special washer onto the left hand sector shaft and insert the shaft into the housing. Note the alignment of the sector shaft gear teeth to the ball nut assembly gear teeth. The middle gear tooth of the three larger gear teeth on the sector shaft mates with the center groove on the ball nut assembly. Now assemble the sector shaft cover. Begin by pressing in a bronze bearing in each end of the cover. Then install the packing retainer in the outer end. Note that the 8N 3585 packing shown in the Ford documentation has been obsoleted and is no longer used. Place a side cover gasket on the inside flange and a cover washer on the outside flange. Mate the side cover to the housing with the notch at the bottom and secure with four bolt and lock washer sets. Place a special washer on the right hand sector shaft and insert into the housing. Align the right hand sector gear teeth with the left hand sector teeth. The center tooth of the right shaft mates with the center groove of the left shaft's five smaller gear teeth. The sectors and ball nut move as shown. Assemble the right hand sector cover the same as the left hand and mate it to the housing with four bolt and lock washer sets.
With the sector shafts installed, the gear tooth engagement, or mesh, on each sector shaft must be adjusted. Start with the left hand sector shaft. In the sector covers, the sector shaft holes are drilled eccentric, or off-center. This allows rotation of the sector cover to move the sector shaft forward and backward, increasing or decreasing the mesh of the sector shaft gear teeth. The correct mesh is set when the backlash is eliminated. The backlash is essentially the mount that the steering shaft turns before the sector shaft starts turning. Adjust the mesh until both shafts turn simultaneously. Align the cover bolt holes to the nearest housing bolt holes and reinstall the four bolt and lock washer sets. Recheck the mesh and torque the bolts. Repeat this procedure for the right sector shaft, adjusting the mesh until it turns simultaneously with the steering shaft and left hand sector. Place the steering wheel on the shaft and verify there is no binding throughout the full range of motion. Now install the steering column bearing assembly in the upper housing shaft tube, followed by the bearing spring seat, spring, and seal. Place the steering wheel on the column and secure with the washer and acorn nut. Fill the steering gear housing through the fill plug on the housing's right hand side using either 90 weight gear oil or high pressure grease, and then install the plug. Alternatively, the gear housing can be filled by removing the upper housing and filling through the opening in the lower housing. However, if done this way, care must be used so as not to disturb the steering shaft assembly. Install the right pitman arm in the orientation as shown. The arms are keyed to the sector shaft splines at 90 degree angles, so the angle is correctly fixed if the arm is oriented as shown. Install the associated lock washer and nut and repeat for the left hand side. The steering gear assembly is now complete. To see more videos from Just 8 Ends, remember to like and subscribe.